Welcome to CryptoGlider.com. This is part one of the walkthrough tutorials for the full account mode. Okay, first off, click the Create Player button, and then click the Terms and Services link to read all the terms and services for the website. Okay. Then what you need to do is create yourself a player name. This can be anything. Put your email in here and then you need at least a six digit code, passcode. Okay, once you've done that, click the create button to enter the game. Okay, now we've entered the game. I'm gonna show you how to deposit coins. There are two ways. The first way is if you go to the game screen, which is click the play button, you can see at the top all the different coins that you can play. So let's say that you want to put some start coins in. All you need to do is hover over the coin. First of all, what you need to check is the minimum throw. Now for start coins, it's 80. So you need to deposit at least 80 coins uh, per throw. Okay. All you need to do, click the deposit button, the address will be automatically copied for you to put into your exchange or outside wallet to bring in. The other way, if you go back one, go into the account screen, you can see start coin here, click the plus button, you get exactly the same. Okay, when your coins arrive, it will show up on this list as deposited. Also, when you go back to the main game screen, it will show the coin highlighted. Depending on the coin, it could take quite a while for the coins to actually enter your account. But if it's been a while, all you need to do, bottom of the screen here, click on the lobby account. This is where all the chat goes on. All you need to do is leave a message in here and someone will have a look at it for you. It's as simple as that. Now I'm gonna show you how to place a ball into the arena. All you need to do is hover over the ball, left click, to bring it in. To release the ball, all you need to do is left click. If you're not happy with the shot, click cancel, reselect the ball. Give it another try. If you like that, click confirm and then lock it in. If you don't like it, click the cancel and start again. This does take a lot of practice, but once you get used to it, it's not bad at all. Okay guys, that's part one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part two.